Mississippi MV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. When riding through an intersection, motorcycles must be especially aware of A. The position of stop lines B. Unexpected light changes C. Pedestrians crossing the road D. Vehicles turning left into your path 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. While all of the above are important when riding through an intersection, motorcycles must be especially aware of vehicles turning left into their path. Cars often do not see motorcycles approaching. Question 2. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned. A. In front of the last rider. B. At the end. C. Behind the leader. D. In the front. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned behind the leader. This allows them to keep up with the group. Question 3. If you are going to pass another vehicle but you think that it may move into your lane, you should. A. Flash your brake light. B. Not pass. C. Beep your horn. D. Pass as fast as possible. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If you are going to pass another vehicle but you think that it may move into your lane, you should beep your horn to warn the driver. Question 4. What is a hazard that you must watch for when being passed by another vehicle? A. Extended side mirrors. B. Objects being thrown from windows. C. Wine blasts from larger vehicles. D. All of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. When being passed by another vehicle you need to watch for extended side mirrors, objects being thrown from windows, and wine blasts from larger vehicles. Question 5. The best lane position for being seen. A. Is the center of the lane position. B. Changes depending on the situation. C. Is the right of the lane position. D is the left of the lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. The best lane position for being seen changes depending on the situation. No position needs to be avoided. Question 6. When you are preparing to pass a vehicle, your motorcycle should be positioned in. Fill in the blank of the lane. A. The center portion. B. The right portion. C. The left portion. D. Any portion. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. As you prepare to pass a vehicle, your motorcycle should be positioned in the left portion of the lane. Question 7. If your motorcycle begins to wobble, the best way to stop it is to A. Close the throttle gradually. B. Apply the front brake. C. Apply the rear brake. D. Accelerate out of the wobble. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If your motorcycle begins to wobble, the best way to stop it is to close the throttle gradually. Applying the brakes or trying to accelerate out of it can make it worse. Question 8. What type of clothing is best for daytime riding? A. Leather clothing. B. Colorful clothing. C. Any type of clothing. 
D. Fluorescent clothing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. During daytime riding, wear fluorescent clothing to be the most visible to other drivers. Question 9. A benefit of riding in the center lane position is it? A. Helps you maintain a consistent speed. B. Prevents others from sharing your lane. C. Keeps you hidden from other drivers. D. Allows you to turn easily. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. A benefit of riding in this center lane position is it discourages other drivers and riders from trying to share your lane space. Motorcycles require a full lane width to operate safely. Question 10. When making turns on the road, a motorcycle rider must fill in the blank before entering a turn. A. Use the front brake. B. Not change gears. C. Change gears. D. Lean is her body at a 45 degree angle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When making turns, it is best to change your motorcycle gear before entering a turn. Question 11. When carrying a passenger, instruct them to A. Hold firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. B. Put their feet on the ground when stopped. C. Wear a seatbelt. D. Grip the backrest. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When carrying a passenger, instruct them to hold firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. Keep both feet on the pegs, even when stopped. Keep legs away from the muffler S, belts, chains, or moving parts. Sit as far forward as possible without crowding you. Stay directly behind your leaning as you lean. And avoid unnecessary talk or motion. Question 12. Shifting to a lower gear is known as a. ABS braking. B. Quick braking. C. Engine braking. D. None of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Shifting to a lower gear causes an effect similar to using the brakes. This is known as engine braking. To use engine braking, Shift down one gear at a time and ease out the clutch through the friction zone between each downshift. Keep the clutch in the friction zone until the engine speed stabilizes. Then ease out the lever fully until ready for the next downshift. Question 13. You can increase your line of sight when preparing to pass by. A. Swerving from side to side. B. Riding in the left lane position. C. Increasing your speed. D. Lifting your face shield. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. You can increase your line of sight when preparing to pass by riding in the left lane position. This allows you to see in front of the vehicle ahead of you. Question 14. In slow turns, how can you help balance the motorcycle? A. Lean forward. B. Keep your body straight. C. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. D. Lean with the motorcycle. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Answer B. You can help the motorcycle balance in slow turns by keeping your body straight. Question 15. Which of the following is an OT required for a motorcycle passenger? A. 
A helmet and eye protection. B. A backpack. C. Passenger footrests. D. Designate seat room. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Passengers should have the same type of protective gear and clothing recommended for operators. Question 16. When carrying cargo in saddlebags, you should A. Fill the left bag before the right one B. Fill the right bag before the left one C. Make sure both bags are full D. Distribute the weight evenly between both bags 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When carrying cargo in saddlebags, you should distribute the weight evenly between both bags. Question 17. Start your motorcycle with your right wrist. A. Flat. B. Locked. C. Up. D. Down. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Start your motorcycle with your right wrist flat to avoid using too much throttle. Question 18. What is a good strategy for seeing bumps on a road at night? A. Wear reflective clothing. B. Use your low beam headlight. C. Watch the taillights of the car ahead of you. D. Stay in low gears. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. By watching the taillights of the car ahead of you, you can see them bounce up and down, which helps identify road hazards. Question 19. You should adjust your side mirrors. A. At a designated service center. B. Before starting your motorcycle. C. While riding your motorcycle. D. Before mounting your motorcycle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. You should adjust your side mirrors before starting your motorcycle but after mounting the motorcycle. Question 20. If either of your motorcycle tires goes flat while riding, you should A. Apply the brakes quickly B. Increase your speed C. Hold hand grips firmly D. Change your direction 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If either of your motorcycle tires goes flat while riding, you should hold hand grips firmly Ease off the throttle, and keep a straight course. Question 21. Why are curves a common place for motorcycle crashes? A. It is difficult to steer a motorcycle. B. Motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve if not careful. C. Motorcycles can stay in one lane position while moving through a turn. D. Leaning in curves causes motorcycles to tip over. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer N. Curves are a common place for motorcycle crashes because motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve and could end up in another lane if the driver is not careful. Question 22. In order to safely carry a passenger on your motorcycle, what must you have? A. A special passenger license. B. Heavy duty shocks. C. Passenger eye protection. D. Adequate seat room and separate foot pegs. 5. 4. 3. 2. 
1. Answer D. In order to safely carry a passenger on your motorcycle, you must have adequate seat room for the passenger and a separate set of foot pegs. Question 23. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to A. Take frequent rest breaks. B. Drive only during the day. C. Drink beverages with caffeine. D. Avoid making long trips. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to take frequent rest breaks. Riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car. Take the time to get off and stretch. Question 24. When you ride in a group. A. Don't tailgate the rider in front of you. B. Put the newest riders at the rear. C. Ride in pairs whenever possible. D. Never ride in groups of more than three. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When riding in a group, don't tailgate the rider in front of you. Always maintain an adequate space cushion. If you would like to go faster, ride at the front of the group. Question 25. How does carrying a passenger change your motorcycle? A. The motorcycle will slow down more quickly. B. A passenger makes the motorcycle go faster. C. A passenger helps balance the motorcycle. D. The motorcycle takes longer to react to changes. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Passengers increase the weight on the motorcycle. Therefore, it takes the motorcycle longer to react to changes like slowing down and stopping. Question 26. You should not ride your motorcycle alongside of cars because A. The car driver cannot make a turn. B. Your bike may skid. C. It could be in a blind spot. D. None of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. You should not ride your motorcycle alongside of cars because you might be in the blind spot area. Question 27. While passing a row of parked cars, you see that there is a driver in one of the parked vehicles. What should you do? A. Ride in the right of the lane position so you will be close to the vehicle. B. Beep your horn to ensure the driver knows you're there. C. Speed up to pass the vehicle quickly. D. Stop until the driver has exited the vehicle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. If you see there is a driver in a parked vehicle you are passing, you should beep your horn to let the driver know you're there and avoid the possibility of him opening the door into your path. Question 28. Fill in the blank. Can increase your visibility. A. Changing your lane position according to traffic situations. B. Riding with a passenger. C. Pulling in the clutch. D. Riding in the left lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Position yourself in the portion of the lane where you are most likely to be seen and where you can maintain a space cushion around you. Change position as traffic situations change. Question 29. When preparing to pass another vehicle, you should begin your pass from, fill in the blank, lane position. A. The center. B. Any. C. The left. 
D the middle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When preparing to pass another vehicle, you should begin your pass from the left lane position, which is closest to the center line. Question 30. Which of the following services provides poor traction for motorcycles? A. Lane markings. B. Gravel roads. C. Wet pavement. D. All of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Wet pavement, gravel roads, and lane markings can all provide poor traction for motorcycles. Question 31. Motorcycles are especially in danger when being passed by large vehicles because A. Large blasts of wind can affect your control. B. Large vehicles cannot accelerate as fast as motorcycles. C. Large vehicles tend to swerve into your lane. D. Their drivers are often tired from working long hours. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Motorcycles are especially in danger when being passed by large vehicles because large blasts of wind affect your control. Motorcycles are smaller than cars, and therefore, are affected more by the blasts of wind. Question 32. While riding, your feet should be positioned. A. Firmly on the footrests. B. Hovering above the ground in case you tip. C. As far forward as possible. D. Pointing down for easy shifting. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. While riding, your feet should be positioned firmly on the footrests. Question 33. When traveling in a group, you should never ride. A. Single file. B. In a staggered formation. C. Two abreast. D. With more than three motorcycles together. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When traveling in a group, you should never ride to abreast. Motorcycles require a full length to operate safely. Question 34. Motorcycle riders are permitted to share lane. A. Never. B. If you need to speak to a fellow rider. C. If the members of the group have agreed on doing so. D. If the traffic is too heavy. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Never ride directly alongside another rider in the same lane. There is no place to go if you have to maneuver to avoid a car or hazard in the roadway. Wait until you are both stopped to talk. Question 35. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to turn left quickly, you should. A. Apply the front brake. B. Press the left hand grip. C. Press the right hand grip. D. Apply the rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to turn left quickly, you should press the left hand grip to initiate the quick swerve or turn. Question 36. The front brake is controlled by A. The left foot pedal B. The right foot pedal C. The left hand lever D. The right hand lever 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The front brake is controlled by the right hand lever. 
Question 37. You should flash your brake light when you are about to stop and you are. A. Stopping in an unusual place. B. Stopping more quickly than others will expect. C. Being followed too closely. D. Doing any of these. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. You should flash your brake light when you are about to stop and you are being followed too closely, stopping in an unusual place, or stopping more quickly than others expect. Question 38. After as few as, fill in the blank, alcoholic drink S, your ability to ride can be affected. A1. B4. C2. D3. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. After as few as one alcoholic drink, your ability to ride can be affected. Question 39. While gripping the handlebars, your arms should be positioned. A. So they are slightly bent. B. Anywhere on the handle grips. C. With elbows at 90 degrees. D. With elbows locked. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Position your arms so they are slightly bent. This will give you the most control over steering. Question 40. Blind intersections can be dangerous because A. They are high-speed intersections. B. They are not controlled by traffic signs. C. U-turns are not permitted. D. Other vehicles will have difficulty seeing you in certain areas. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Blind intersections are dangerous because other vehicles will have difficulty seeing you from certain areas. Question 41. Of the following, the most likely place for a collision is A. A multi-lane highway B. An intersection C. A residential area D. A school zone 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. The most likely place for a collision is an intersection because many people are trying to do different things at once. Question 42. When should your motorcycle side mirrors be adjusted? A. While you are driving. B. Before you start driving. C. The mirrors are not adjustable. D. At the first stop after you start driving. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Your motorcycle side mirrors should be adjusted before you start driving. Question 43. The best way to discourage another driver from trying to share the lane with you is to A. B. Your horn B. Flash your brake light C. Ride in the left lane position D. Ride in the center lane position 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The best way to discourage another driver from trying to share the lane with you is to ride in the center lane position. Question 44. If your front wheel locks, you should. A. Release the brake and reapply it smoothly. B. Use the rear brake only. C. Release the rear brake only. D. Continue applying the brake. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. If your front wheel locks, 
the best course of action is to release the brake and reapply it smoothly to regain control. Question 45. If both braking and swerving are required to avoid hitting an object, in which order should you brake and swerve? A. Swerve while braking. B. Brake before or after swerving. C. You can only brake before swerving, never after. D. Brake while swerving. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. If both braking and swerving are required to avoid hitting an object, you should brake before or after swerving. Never brake while swerving. Question 46. The brake hydraulic fluid and coolant levels should be checked. A. Weekly. B. Daily. C. Before each ride. D. Once a year. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. The fluid levels of your motorcycle should be checked weekly. Question 47. When traveling behind a car, a motorcycle rider must ride, fill in the blank, where a driver is most likely to see him or A. In the center portion of the lane. B. In the left side of the lane. C. In the right side of the lane. D. In the driver's blind spot. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When traveling behind a car, you must ride in the center portion of the lane where a driver is most likely to see you. That should put your image in the middle of the car's rear view mirror. Question 48. You shift gears by engaging the clutch lever and using the A. Rear brake lever. B. Front brake lever. C. Left foot pedal. D. Right foot pedal. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. You shift gears by using the left foot pedal. The right foot pedal is for the brake. Question 49. When starting your motorcycle, your right wrist should be positioned. A. Low down, to increase control. B. In the most comfortable position. C. High, to use the throttle the most. D. Flat, so you won't use too much throttle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Position your right wrist flat so that you won't use too much throttle when starting off. Question 50. When riding behind a car, which lane position will keep you the most visible to the driver? A. The left. B. Any lane position. C. The center. D. The right. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Riding in the center of the lane position makes you most visible. Drivers look in their rearview mirrors more often, and you will be seen. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.